So in 13.4, we're going to continue to talk, talk about the ways to prevent corrosion. So uh, last time when we did mention, okay, if we have zinc coating on the surface of the iron, if the zinc coating is scratched, the iron is still protect. Actually, there is a um, chemical term okay, for this reactions. We call this one sacrificial protection. So the metal sacrifice itself to prevent iron from rusting. How do we do that? First of all, you have to attach to a more reactive metal. So like the galvanized metal, we have zinc right there. So when it attached to a more reactive metal, the more reactive metal will then lose the electrons more readily. So in this case, you'll find that the zinc will then lose the electrons and then this losing electrons process, it will prevent iron from losing iron's electrons. So therefore, if iron it doesn't lose its electrons, then rusting would not occur. So remember, if you want to explain the process of sacrificial protection, you do need to mention which one is more reactive, and for the more reactive one, they will lose electrons more readily than the iron, and then prevent iron from losing electrons. Okay, so uh, the first example that we have, okay, like previous, what we have say, okay, would be galvanized iron, the zinc plating iron. So if it scratch, okay, the zinc, okay, because it is more reactive than an iron, so it will lose electrons more readily, preventing iron from losing electrons. So even scratch. Okay, you open up, okay, the oxygen and water can get to the surface, can contact with the iron, the iron will not rust until all the zinc have disappeared, okay? Because in the process, zinc is going to corrode. So therefore, the zinc actually become less and less, okay? So uh, one day, okay, all the zinc will disappear. So uh, we can also apply this one to the ship hull, okay, the ship body. So you can find it right there, okay? All these things are the zinc block. All these are the same block. We will just stick the same block on the surface of the ship house. So in the process, where if they want to corrode, okay, the zinc will lose the electrons, or because it's more reactive than iron, the zinc will lose the electron more readily than the iron. Okay, so therefore it will prevent the iron on this part, okay, from losing the electrons. As time goes by, zinc block will then corrode, okay, instead of the iron. But you have to remember because zinc will corrode in the process, zinc is getting less and less. So very important thing is, okay, we need to replace the sink block from time to time. So this one is also a kind of disadvantage of having sacrificial protection. But for the advantage of that, okay, this one is a very effective way, effective way of protection. As long as you make sure the sink block is still there, okay, the iron body will then be protected from rusting. Of course, okay, you see that they will also apply uh, paint on it, okay? So therefore, you have two ways to prevent uh, corrosions for the whole thing. Okay, and then uh, sacrificial protection, we also apply it to the underground pipeline, okay? You have to imagine underground pipeline, okay? It is underground. You cannot dig out the pipeline and then do the protection measurements, okay, every time. So what we are doing, okay, the pipeline is that is connected with a reactive metal. Say for example, we can connect it with magnesium. We put magnesium in the back like this, okay? So if we connect here, the magnesium, because it's more reactive than the iron, so therefore it will lose electrons to the iron. And at the same time, okay, it can prevent iron from losing electrons, okay? So therefore in this way, okay, we can also prevent the underground pipeline from rusting. What we have to do is to replace this magnesium from time to time okay so uh just want to recall your memory about galvanized iron and tin plated iron if you remember okay we did say that okay for galvanized iron if the surface is scratched okay the iron underneath will also be protected however for tin plated iron okay if the tin surface is scratched the iron will rust even more faster. Okay, so you can see that right here, okay? Because the zinc is more reactive than iron, but for tin here is less reactive than iron. Okay, sacrificial protection is occurred, okay, in galvanized iron, but not in tin plated iron. And one thing is uh the zinc iron that it produces, okay, is toxic. However, the zinc iron here is non-toxic. So you'll find that okay, the 
of the tin. Okay, we'll use it to tin plate for the food can. While for the galvanized iron, we'll just use it for the bucket. Okay, constructions or things like that. Okay, we will never use it to coat the container or for the food storage. Okay, next okay, we're going to talk about using alloy of iron. Okay, alloy okay, means that okay, we'll mix iron with other kind of elements. So normally we'll mix with carbon with a, a certain kind of amount, okay, certain kind of content, okay, with a percentage requirement for that. Okay? And also we will mix with other metals such as chromium, nickel, manganese, okay, all these kind of things okay, can help iron, okay, or to prevent it from rusting. So the mechanism we have here is the stainless steel, okay, or it is corrosion resistant, or just because we have a layer of tough chromium 3 oxide on the surface of the iron. And this prevents iron from contacting air and also the water. Okay. However, the disadvantage of this is you'll find that the nickel and chromium is more expensive than iron. So in the process it will be um uh, the, the stainless steel itself will be very expensive but this one is uh, also a very good way okay to prevent rusting okay so this one is an effective way for preventing rusting of protection okay and also you'll find that for alloy okay normally they will have a uh, very beautiful attractive beautiful appearance Okay, so I just want to record some of the memories okay, about Chinese history. Okay, and remember, okay, we do have a process say to Mandalin Gong. Okay, and also uh, we have like, so at that period of time, Chinese government okay want to make some good steel, so therefore they can make some weapon out of it. So what they are asking, okay, is the people they melt the iron and then they mix different kind of things in it, like the uh, other kind of metals, like carbon in it. However, they don't have a good knowledge about making a stainless steel. So the percentage of the carbon, okay, the percentage of carbon actually is not up to the standard. So you find that the, the steel that they made, okay, is not as hard as what they think. So this is a problem, okay? We got a recipe to make stainless steel. So all uh, the percentage of carbon have to be strictly followed. Next, we're going to talk about cathodic protection. So the mechanism for this one is pretty easy. You just need to connect iron to the negative terminal of the DC supply. So just like here. So you put it on uh, the negative right there. So the electron will keep flowing into the iron. Okay, so if uh, the electron keeps flowing into the iron, and this can prevent the iron from losing the electron. The iron tried to lose the electron, but you keep on providing the electron to it. Okay, so therefore you cannot form Fe2+, so the iron, it will not corrode. So you can see two diagrams here, one of them, okay, you see that it connected to the DC supply. The electrons, so okay, keep flowing in here. Okay, and this one, okay, the underground pipeline, again, where you have connected to the DC power supply. So now we call it reactive flyer, because if you know that, okay, AC supplied, okay, the positive pole and negative pole will keep on reversing, okay. So we call it reactive flyer, okay, to change the AC to DC. So therefore, the electron will keep on uh, providing to the underground pipeline so you can prevent the iron here or from losing the electron so some example that we'll use okay we'll pro protect the underground pipeline like what we've said the storage tank or the steel pier lake okay that means by the seaside or the pier lake it is made by metal we can also connect it to the dc supply and also we can connect okay this one is quite common also in public exam we can connect the car body to the negative terminal of the car battery so again with the car battery uh, car body can be protected by cathodic protections but not only this okay we can also have like galvanizations to make the car body we can also have painting on the surface so you can see that one article actually it can have more than one protective way to prevent it from rusting okay so uh, you can refer to page 16 Okay, you go a class practice right there. Okay, so this one is a typical question that we have. Which of the above metals we can use to protect which of the above metals can protect iron from rusting by sacrificial protection? We have mentioned that we need some metal that is more reactive than that, so that more reactive than iron. So you have aluminium, we have magnesium, aluminium, and also zinc right there. Tin and copper is less reactive, so if you attach to it, it will just make the iron rust even faster. We name the method 
the method name by coating a thin layer of zinc on the surface. So you can either say galvanization or you can also say sacrificial protection because galvanization is to prevent iron from contacting the air. Sacrificial protection is providing electrons to the iron and prevent it from losing the electron. Both of them is correct, okay? Part C, explain how tin plating can be used to protect iron from rusting. We'll talk about the mechanism, how. Okay, basically, you just have a layers of tin will prevent uh, the iron from contacting the air and water. Okay, last one, explain why tin rather than zinc is used to make food can. So we have mentioned many times, zinc is poisonous, while tin is non-poisonous. Okay, so tin ions are not poisonous, so therefore we'll use that. So you can also referring to page uh, 18, okay? You can see activity right there, okay? So uh, we got many different kind of things, okay? So you try to use or uh, suggest ways okay, to prevent it from rusting. Sometimes it may be more than one of them, okay? You can just have a look at it by yourself. So to summarize, okay, we have uh, many different ways to prevent rusting. So uh, in the previous video, we talked about the painting, coating, oil, grease, Galvanizing, team plating, yeto plating. All these things they have one mechanism is to prevent iron from contacting air and water. Okay. So for the advantage of them, okay, uh, and this advantage, okay, I encourage you to go and check this table. Okay. This videos, okay, we mainly focusing on the sacrificial protection. So we did mention about uh, the reactive metals, they will lose the actual more readily and prevent iron from forming iron to ions okay, because it can lose their choice. So all these sacrificial protections is an effective ways okay protections. However, you need replacement for this sacrificed metal. So we'll use it at like the sink block attached to the ship house. We will also use it for protecting the underground pipelines. Other than that, okay, we did mention uh, ways to form alloys. Okay, so we'll combine iron with carbon chromium, necrom, and many more. These are corrosion, making the alloy corrosion resistant. Not only they have a uh, beautiful appearance, but also it is a very effective way. However, this is a very expensive way to make it. So mainly, okay, we use it for the cutlery, coat wear, okay. Those need attractive appearance, okay. And last one, okay, we talk about cathodic protections, okay. What we need to do is just connect the iron to the negative terminal of the electro sources. Electric sources have to be DC, okay, direct current, okay. So this one again to prevent iron from rusting by losing electrons. This is a very convenient way to do it, but not really applicable to all the objects, okay. So mainly we apply it to the car bodies, underground pipelines, with like the steel pier legs, things like that, okay. So uh, after all, okay, we have many ways. Uh, we can uh, many ways to prevent rusting uh, of the iron, okay. We can mix and match okay, all the useful things together. Okay, to do serve the same purpose. So that's all for the videos. Okay, bye bye.